Wow. Alright, today is um, April 23rd, Wednesday. It's about quarter to five. It's a lovely day and the car is just in the shade now from the house. Perfect time to do all this stuff. So, um, basically, we're going to do a clay bar detail on the on the E60. Um, first of all, we're going to have we're going to wash it with washing up liquid. Get all the existing wax that has been put on over the years off. Once that's done, um, clay bar. This is the clay bar. It's 250 gram clay bar we got. If I can open it, here we go. So it, this is the size I just cut up. This is what I'm going to use for the car, and, the, and this is for the glass. Um, glass being done at the end. And the lubricant I'm going to use for the clay bar, it, it's not window cleaner. It's a mixture between um, a lot of water and a bit of bodywork shampoo. So once that's done, we're going to wash it with bodywork shampoo conditioner by Autoglim, of course. Then super resin polish going on with the perfect polishing cloth um, being cotton. And then extra gloss protection going on ahead of that. And then while they are drying and waiting for a buff with the microfiber cloths, um, one of the times I hope to get the majority of the leather work done, the leather cleaner and leather car balm. At the other time, hoping to get the wheels done um, with custom wheel cleaner. Glass turtle wax, glass cleaner will be used with the, in, in, in conjunction with the clay bar at the end. And then over here, um, microfiber cloths, two wash mitts, one for the washing up liquid, one for the normal butterwork shampoo. And this is just an old tail I'm going to put the microfibers on at the front so that they don't get dirty when they don't need to be. So this will be fun. All right, so that's the washing up liquid wash done now. Um, I'm not gonna be real uh, meticulous when I'm drying it because it's just gonna get clay barred now in a minute. So, looking good so far. It was really, really dirty. We got loads of um, Sahara sand over the last while, so it's just covered in sand and salt and crap. So at least it's clean and all the existing, all the wax that was on it, all the crap that people put on over the years, it's now gone. So we're gonna try and build up a nice new polish layer to using the auto glim stuff. It's now a quarter to six. Um, I'm in the middle of the, of the clay bar. And so I've done the bonnet, the roof. On this side, I've done the the front wing, both doors, the over the windows, and this down to here. I haven't done any of this. As you see, this is a little accident we had last week in a car park, and so I'm going to leave that obviously when until when it gets um, that gets fixed. Back bumper and the sill down here. I'm going to leave till the end because I suspect they will be horrendous in the amount of dirt and debris so that will be done left to the end and when I have when I'm using up the last clay bar so now I, I see all the streaks here this um, this is what the clay bar leaves so after this one that you give it a wash and it's it's pretty much like this paint is as smooth as anything it's it's immaculate carbon black metallic so these two doors wing front bumper back bumper and the two sills and then that's gonna be the clay bar done and on to the next step all right, now the car is fully clayed. You can see it's, um, there are, um, you can't see it there. There, it's, it's very streaky. That's just from the um, clay bar. But now the paint is essentially immaculately clean, just like it was when it left, when it left the, the factory in, on the 8th of May, 2007. So, that's, the clay bar is here. You remember what it looked like before. That's the after. All that crap was in the paint. So that's pretty bad. And then at the end, the really black bits, I, I, I put it through the, the cracks to get it. Absolutely perfect. So that's that. So now the next step, the bodywork shampoo by Otto. So now the car has been washed after the clay bar has been done. So it is streak, streakless. 
and it is pretty much perfect the reflection as you can see is pretty much astonishing i'll show you the tree in, on this side that's that's pretty good isn't it so i'd say that's good so now we're going to put the super resin polish on with the perfect perfect polishing cloth 10 past 7 and we've got the super super resin polish on now so it's all swirly but it's polished it's waiting for the buff now so i'm going to wait until about for about 45 minutes for that to dry in and buff with a microfiber cloth and um, in the meantime we're going to put the leather cleaner on and then while we're waiting on the extra gloss protection to dry we're going to put the leather car bomb on to protect it that's done that's done so this and then this then that then the leather care bomb uh, I'm gonna put the leather on with the microfiber cloth then the glass but the last thing to do with the clay wow but wow so it's just after half eight which makes it almost four hours but this is just astonishing i still have to do the glass and the wheels um, and the tires though we got new tires earlier and um, today uh, bridgestone uh, or e050 a's run flats two four five forty eighteens we got three of them actually we we this is still the old one because um his machine he did something and it tore the inside of the tire and that's no good now so he's gonna get another one in tomorrow so go down for that and so then we'll have 400 tires perfect paint perfect wheels perfect glass so i'm just gonna do um the wheels now with the auto glam custom wheel thing on a microfiber cloth and get some of the the crap he put on when he was doing the doing the tires and do that and then the glass so I'm gonna clay bar the windscreen and then I have turtle wax glass cleaner and then the inside of as well of course and this is the finished the finished um, specimen it's now about 11 o'clock the following morning because it got a bit dark last night I finished at about nine o'clock but everything's done now and it looks it looks pretty good. You can see the reflection here of the tree. Like that's all the paint. That's pretty good, and the fields it feels amazing. It feels like um, like glass. The whole thing feels like glass, and then of course the glass as well. It's pretty good, and the the windscreen was clayed and everything, and the wipers done, and so hopefully it'll stay like is for a little while until it rains which will be uh, in a few minutes because this is Ireland but it's, it's not too bad now so that's pretty much it so that was about four and a half hours there's another E60 520D um, yeah so that's pretty much it so I'm just gonna take a few photos now and the leather as well I did the um, everything on the leather as well just open it up we got um, the Autoglim, the leather cleaner, and then the the leather car bomb. So yeah, as I thought, it smells absolutely amazing in here as well. And then, so that's pretty much it. So that was fun, and the car looks good.